welcome to DLS 105, Risk Tools and Calculations for Risk Assessments. Uh, my name is Damon Amlung. I am a senior geotechnical engineer with the Risk Management Center, and I am the lead instructor for this course. So today, I'm going to introduce you to the course. We'll talk about its format and go over some things that will be helpful to work through it over the next few months. So this is a virtual training course and will provide the pertinent background information related to using risk calculation tools, perform semi-quantitative and quantitative risk assessments for Damon Levy safety. Uh, upon completion of this course, you will understand the basic principles of probability and statistics. You will learn how to perform all the necessary calculations for both semi-quantitative and quantitative assessments. And this course is set up to include exercises and homework to provide hands-on experience in applying the concepts and then using a bunch of different tools. So this course, however, is not going to teach you everything you need to know to perform a risk assessment. As such, we're not going to cover how to generate hazard curves or how to do a potential failure modes analysis. We're not going to cover the specifics of elicitation or estimating probabilities, and we're also not going to cover how to develop life loss or economic consequence estimates. So these are topics that are covered in DLS 104 best practices and also in the many other excellent training courses that the RMC provides. This course, DLS 105, is all about how to perform the risk calculations after all these things that I've mentioned have been completed. This course is going to consist of six different modules all of which will take place online. Module 1 will cover the essential elements of probability theory and event tree analysis. Module 2 cover calculating and portraying risk. Module 3 will step into uncertainty evaluation and portrayal. And at that breakpoint, we start getting more into the tools. So Module 4 will be a demonstration of RMC QRA calcs. Module 5 will be a demonstration of RMC Total Risk software. And then the last session, Module 6, will cover semi-quantitative risk assessment and demonstrate how to use RMC SQRA calcs. Each module is going to consist of a pre-recorded presentation that you will watch first, and that will later be followed by a live question and answer session. The pre-recorded presentations will be anywhere between an hour to two hours long, kind of varies. You'll have about three weeks to go through um, the video for a given module. While well, you're certainly welcome to watch the entire videos all at once, I would recommend splitting them up and kind of watching them parts at a time. Uh, there's a lot of information in these videos, so I think splitting them up will help you retain what you watch a little better. For this course, you're going to need to have a couple programs and to download some spreadsheet tools. First, everyone is going to need to have Microsoft Excel and the ability to enable macros. Second, there are several tools that you'll need to download from the RMC's website. The event combination toolbox, the joint loading probabilities toolbox, and the RMC SQRA calcs, those can all be found on the software page under the risk calculation suite. And then RMC QRA calcs and RMC total risk have their own pages on that website. Uh, keep in mind that the RMC is continually working to improve these tools, so please download a new version from the website uh, when a tool is required for a module. You're also going to need a version of Palisades at Risk for modules 3 and 4. This is a commercial software that we use for a lot of things and more than just risk assessments. If you don't have it and don't want to purchase it, you can download a 15-day free trial from their website. Uh, and if you manage your time right, that should be enough to get you um, enough time to complete your work for modules three and four. So if you have to go that route, uh, please don't install it until I tell you to, because that clock starts the moment you download it, not when you first use it. So you don't want it to expire before you need it. If you work for the Army Corps of Engineers, you can download at risk from the app portal. Um, I will warn everybody now that many people in the past have unfortunately struggled with getting at risk installed on the computer. So because of this, I've created a workaround option by modifying some spreadsheets for those who can't obtain a copy. Um, it gives you the 
I guess, the feel of using at risk without actually having the program. Um, so that's an option for people as well. Um, if you are trying to get the program installed and run into any trouble, please let me know and I'll try to help where I can. As most are probably already aware, everything you need for this course can be accessed through the RMC website. It's www.rmc.usace.army.mil. Uh, when you get to that web page at the top, you can click Training and then Fundamental Training Courses. And then from there, you will see DLS 105 and can click the plus sign to get to the course links. There will be links to the participant workbook, to the course videos on YouTube, along with PDFs of the presentation slides and transcripts, and also the homework and exercise files you'll need. The participant workbook is going to give you all the information you need for the course, including the training agenda, course instructions, the webinar information for the office hours, and live question and answer sessions. It'll have links to the course materials, uh, Socrative login instructions, and contact information for all the course instructors that we'll meet along the way. Pre-recorded presentations for each model, module will be uploaded to YouTube. And like I just mentioned, the links to these presentations are going to be posted on the website, along with the PDF of the slides and the transcripts that can be used to help follow along. Each module will include a homework assignment to be completed at the end. The spreadsheets for each homework assignment, which also includes tabs for the exercises covered during the module, are going to be posted to the website. Uh, once you have completed the homework, please email it to rmctraining at usace.army.mil, and please use DLS 105 homework and then the module number for the subject. That'll help us keep track of the submittals when we get them. The due dates for the homework can be found in the agenda, and that can be found in your uh, participant workbook. And I will hold office hours on Mondays, the week before the homework is due. And so please see the course schedule in the participant workbook. Now, this, this is a great opportunity to get one-on-one -on -one help from an instructor regarding the exercises and the assigned homework. So in the past, I've heard a couple stories of participants spinning the wheel spinning their wheels for several hours on a homework assignment. Please, please, please don't spend that much time on the homework. Anything much more than an hour is going to be way too much. So if you get stuck, ask for help and we'll point you in the right direction. I mean, the homework is really supposed to just help you learn and to help get you some hands-on experience. It's not supposed to be a significant burden, so please ask for help if you need it. <laughs> we will do live question and answer sessions via webinar to conclude each module. Uh, we will cover the solutions for the homework assignment there. Uh, the rest of the time will just be dedicated to answering questions from the participants. These sessions will start at uh, 12 noon Eastern time. They can last up to two hours depending on the number of questions, but they're usually finished within an hour or so. If you have a conflict and cannot participate in the live session, recordings of the session will be posted to the website with the other course videos. And we'll follow up with um, a short quiz on Socrative after each live session. You'll be asked to go to www.socrative.com and then click the blue login button at the top right and then choose student login. From there, you'll be asked for a room number for the quiz, and all those room numbers can be found in the participant workbook. The room name will be DLS105R, and then the number of the module, which you see on the screen is for the first module, so it would be DLS105R1. After you have input the room name and click join, you'll be prompted to empty your name, last name first, and then when you click done, you'll be admitted into the quiz. So these quizzes are basically a learning check. Um, these quiz questions may appear again on the final exam at the end of the course, so keep that in mind. Also, the quizzes are going to be used to give credit for participation in the live Q&A sessions. During each session, I'm going to give a buzzword for you to write down or remember. And the first question of every quiz will be to identify the correct buzzword so that we can give you credit for the session. You're only going to get one shot at it, so make sure you pay attention during the session so you don't miss the buzzword. Uh, you will have two weeks to complete the quiz following the live sessions. 
and then we'll cover the solutions to the quiz during the subsequent live session. And then with regards to credit, there's gonna be 24 professional development hours available for completing the course. Uh, your course credit will be determined by completion of the homework assignments at the end of each session, the completion of the quizzes at the end of the live Q&A, and then passing the multiple choice exam at the end of the course. Uh, for the purposes of the final exam, a passing grade is gonna be 75%. And we will not offer partial credit, unfortunately. That completes my introduction to the course. Uh, are, are there any questions from the participants? I did get one on the chat um, asking if the spreadsheet is on the RMC website. Yes, the spreadsheets are, will be on the RMC website. Yes. I was um, I was meaning your spreadsheet that. Um, is meant to mimic risk eight and wanted to uh, make sure that that was on the RMC website or was it otherwise accessible? Right. No, it, it will be when those, uh, when it's time for those modules. So basically what the, what those spreadsheets are set up to do is when the participant or the user types in the correct formula for at risk, and other things will populate correctly and they'll let you know that you at least I, we'll cover that more here in a little more than a month when we get into module three but yes those will be on the website thank you we got another one on the chat is there only one chance to take the final exam so if you don't get 75 percent, you don't get credit for the course yeah look, it, it, you're only going to get one chance um you will have seen most of the questions before in the quizzes, and I will go over the solutions to the quizzes um, in those live sessions. And in the three times that this course has been offered, everybody's passed. So, you know, if you if you watch the videos and follow along, and you know the the final exam will be open book, open note, and you'll have you know a couple weeks to complete it. So you'll have time to go through and look up the answers if you don't know right away. I don't think you'll have any trouble passing. Um, the next question is the live Q&A sessions are required, but they will also be recorded and posted just in case we miss them for the buzzword. Yes. Yeah, that's correct. So if you cannot uh, attend the live Q&A session uh, when we do it, I guess, virtually in person, um, those videos will be up and you'll have at least a couple weeks from the end of that live session to then to view that video, the buzzword will be recorded there, and then you'll have that time to complete the quiz. Yeah, the reason we've structured this course the way we have is we know that people are busy, you know, you got a lot of things going on, so there's tried to put enough time in between modules so you don't feel rushed, but also so that, you know, not too much time so things get lost, so, you know, allows you to work around when you're TDY or, you know, just have a lot of other work stuff to do. And if you miss stuff, all this, everything will be recorded. So you should have plenty of opportunity to keep up. Go ahead, Wendy. Um, the next question was, RMC Total Risk isn't available yet on the website. When will it be available? So that is, is supposed to be official here within the next month or so. We won't get into RMC total risk until module five. So that'll be probably towards the end of the spring before we get there. If for whatever reason, official release of that program is delayed, I've got a copy of the beta version that we will post to the website. So we'll have a working copy of that, whether it's officially available or not. Uh, there was a question about Excel add-ons being added to the website at a later date. What Excel add-ons are you referring to? The macros, maybe? Those macros will be included within the uh, the homework files, and they are embedded within the RMC uh, tools. There is one macro that we will share, the interpolation macro. We'll share with everybody as a group just because that's a very handy one to have just, just for your day-to-day -day use. So that one will be um, uploaded, but everything else will be embedded within the spreadsheet. I have a question. My name is Jenny Schrader. So working for the state, it's pretty difficult to get permissions to download software. 
it takes weeks and so the timing is kind of sketch. It sounds like you have a workaround if we can't download the the Palisades at risk software because it took us about me about like two and a half to three weeks to get permissions for a prior one. Okay. I just see the timing as being really difficult to get it down to a day because it's just based on avail availability of our IT staff. Yeah, understood. And that's okay. why that workaround ought to be available. And um, that workaround, the only thing that you're going to need to to do that part and to participate in modules three and four, if you don't have at risk, would be those spreadsheet files, which will update. Okay, so that would be enough. Yep. Okay, understood, thank you. Is there a big wait list for this course? There's some wait list, but because this is virtual and because we're how we're doing it, we've got quite a few participants. So, I mean, we, we offered it, I guess it was last, last summer, we're doing it again now, and. I don't know, we might have plans to do it again this coming summer. We'll have to wait and see. But you know, this one's pretty fairly easy to get into because we don't have any limitations like room size or anything like that with it being virtual. I guess for anybody who didn't make the course, all this stuff is, all these videos stay posted to the RMC website. So you can, um, I guess, audit the course at your own pace. I guess you won't get official credit for completing it but all the information's out there. As this course goes, we'll be sending out, there's a, a spreadsheet we're gonna put together that's going to track all the homework submittals and quiz submittals and stuff like that. So you can check your progress through the course, make sure that we're getting the submittals that you've sent us. And if by chance we miss a submittal or whatever, just let us know and we'll get that updated. I haven't had any trouble with that in the past, but that'll probably get sent out around the time of each live session will send out an update with each module. And it, if you happen to get behind, I know we've got, you know, deadlines stated for the homework and please try to keep to those, but if something comes up and you're going to be a little late, just, just reach out to me and, you know, we'll work something out. I don't want your workload and your real job to prevent you from completing stuff. So we can be flexible with some of those deadlines. Well, thanks for everybody for calling in for the overview for 105 and Look forward to working with you guys throughout the course and interacting during the office hours and live sessions. Thanks everybody for their time.